while at work and at home. I allow eBay to work for me. That's right. And you can tell by these wonderful last 13 or 14 sales. Check them out. So here we go. We're on the home stretch heading home. And let's talk about those sales. Because like I just told you a couple segments ago. First off, Marquette Villanova football game 1937 goes for $31. I bought a bag of ticket stubs. What did I pay? Shoot, I forgot what I paid. I think $125, something like that. What did I pay? I think I did. $125, we're going to say. It was worth it. I've sold two tickets already, a couple more tickets, and I'll be even Steven, and then it'll be all. Uh, profit ticket stubs old ones grab them probably concert tickets go for silly prices too never sold any or saw any so i suggest look into the something like that because i'm sure it's uh, worth your time this i know was a yard sale specialist paid five hours for it and it looked really good original box coleman lantern now these I think it's the 220Js, uh, double mantles. These are probably uh, the easiest or the cheapest of the bunch, except those ones that just hook into uh, the propane cans or whatever the hell they are. Uh, but these ones that you, you know, these look that go off of Coleman fuel, I would say these are the most plentiful out there. If they're in great shape and they're from the 60s, 70s, you know, they don't look like they were fired, you're going to get 50 to 70 bucks for them. So, as you see right there. And they're in their original box. Just grab them. Pay 5 or 10 I wouldn't pay any too much more. But there you go. Kentucky Derby's rate around the bend. And these glasses, I don't know how long they've been sitting, but uh, I accept it whatever that was for these. I think I paid a buck a piece or something uh, for these. So it's no big deal. Kentucky Derby glasses will sell, but this is the time you want to put them out. Preakness, Kentucky Derby, Belmont Stakes, because the big three are coming. Glass has been hit and miss with me. This one I paid five hours for, and it's been sitting for a long time. This has been in the shelf boxed ready to go many of offers on it and i had it at 50 at first finally i got tired of seeing it 35 dollars i accept it it's gone so it didn't lose money i thought i would get a lot more for it but i didn't so that's how glass goes it's hit and miss for me i probably should have it over on etsy but i'm lazy disney snow globes I paid 30 bucks for three of them and 40 for one now and i've lost the one i can't find it but then once i find it i think it's like a 200 hour globe um this one here the rabbit ear was broke and it had a little yellowing to the water and i still got the 119 dollar offer and i and i accept it uh, i had it for 150 uh i wanted it to go it plays music too so it goes but then i put another one on and they both went quick this is another alice in wonderland and this went full price because this baby was uh, pristine so got 150 for that one it's nice and uh i was glad to see it go it went quick too i mean put it on probably 10 hours later it was gone highly recommend disney snow globes when they're in their box when the water's not yellow like look at it they say it's in there take it out look at it. take the time to look at it. don't be a knucklehead like me fenton glass sign hand painted whoopty stinking do you know anniversary stuff um auction and uh the first bid guy 34 bucks i think it went for it didn't get any other bids i wanted to move it i'm tired of sitting on glass uh do I phase out a glass? Absolutely not. When I can get it for a dollar to five dollars, you know, I'll take it. But uh, it's not 
getting as much as some other people would get if they were selling this on Etsy, I'm sure. Now, if you look at comps on this and, and ones that haven't sold, people will have them up to $150. You're not going to get that. I don't think, anyway. You might get 50 or 60 but 35 I accepted, 34 whatever it was, uh, I paid 5 Vintage electronics are hot. Uh, I've sold quite a few of it. They, uh, the tube testers and stuff to do with radios and old TVs and the testing equipment for it goes quickly. This one, put it on, a few hours later, gone. This came from uh, the electronics, second electronics score, 60 bucks. Can't beat it, man. You can get a pile of old electronics and it's in decent shape. Get it. I'm, people want it. I don't know why, but they do, and they pay sometimes a couple hundred hours for some of this stuff, because I've sold a lot of it in the last year, and I'm very happy with it. Here's the turn sale of the week, which I'm not complaining too much. This was a, a dollar pickup at a yard sale. Uh, put it on for auction. Somebody bid and got it on the, uh, only one bid, twelve ninety eight or whatever the hell it was. It's been sitting on the shelf. It had to go. So, cobalt blue candy dish with blades on top there. Two little doves kissing or whatever they are. It's gone. And um, to a new happy home. These soldiers were bought once and someone didn't pay. Uh, put them back on. They sold for $43, I believe. Uh, that is it for the lead soldiers except a few... Uh, Indians I have left. Uh, I actually made a profit on these, not much, but I bought them years ago and put them on a shelf and it was time to renew that shelf with new things. So I don't want to collect everything. It was cool, did a video. Um, and that was a few years ago. So now all the lead soldiers are out of here. This Next one is the old college, let's have some fun. You want to get in my fraternity? Take 15 wax on this bad boy. Fraternity crap sells. I've sold uh, Jim Beam bottles. Uh, this, I guess, could also be considered, what is that stuff when somebody, uh, I don't know, it's folk art. But I think people are smacking each other with it for thrills. Who cares? Forty dollars for something sitting on the floor in the last clean out we had, sold for forty stinking dollars. So, fraternity brothers, have fun whacking each other, and thank you for the purchase. Tingle ling a ling, tingle ling a ling. This is the old Fenton custard glass uh, bell, and the last one I believe I had got fifteen bucks for it. That was an offer. I think I had it. For $19.99, they offered, they lowballed at 12 I said 15 and cha-ching, I heard, so uh, it's theirs. It's gone, uh, easy to ship for me because I got the proper stuff. And look behind me, that's all free bubble wrap. I just fell into tons of it. I'm very happy with that, too. Lots of bubble wrap for free. Can't beat it, so bang, bang. A few weeks ago, there was a yard sale, believe it or not, if you watched the video, and I picked up a bunch of crap, and there was a whole box of Hummels. I think I paid 50 at most for the whole box. Well, any Hummel figure that has an umbrella, get them. This was two, boy and a girl. Um, full price, 140 was on for probably two weeks at most. Uh, sold last night. I'm very happy with it. And that was three nice big sales for me. So if you look at what my uh, money, what that costs, it's probably around maybe $2 a piece. So it's a nice turnover. Nice, nice uh, turnover or whatever the hell that's called. But it's a nice uh, profit for me. I don't mind buying Hummels. I sell a lot of them. And uh, don't have any problem shipping them either. So there we go. That's my sales. That's the eBay sales. Free bubble wrap, cheap stuff, getting nice profits on what I do sell. Uh, I think there was like 13 sales I just showed. That was for the last about week. So very happy. Stuff's starting to move for me too. So that's cool. Uh, 
I am Harry Homestone. That's my sales for the week. Until the next time, I say later.